What's up y'all, Redefine TV here, and we're gonna go straight to work. One of the worst things that you could ever do is not get over what's over. Stop holding on to somebody who already let you go. We already going in. Going in. One of the leading causes of heartache, heartbreak, depression, emotional distress, and sometimes even suicide is not being able to move on. And the first thing you have to do is admit that you've been hurt from a past relationship or a past hurt. You have to admit and acknowledge that you've been hurt. Because you can't be healed from what you won't acknowledge. No, and so many times a friend will come to you and ask you, what's wrong? Knowing something's wrong with you, they could tell, but you'll just deny it and you'll be acting like, hey, um, something wrong? You seem like something was bothering you earlier. No, I'm right? fine. No, what, do, do I look like something's wrong with me? I mean, Why? does it seem like something's wrong with me? No, nothing. Uh, Why you ask me that? There's nothing wrong with me. What's wrong with you? Uh, just make I mean, sure. I'm you, good. I mean, I'm straight. I mean, right, I mean, right. are you good? All right, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Dude. Now you know something's wrong. You know you hurting. You was just crying 20 minutes ago about that past situation. Denying it. You have to be honest. Because if you keep believing lies, lies will be all you believe. That's right. The second thing is when God heals you, don't pick the wound. How are you ever going to get healed and you keep going back looking on the ex Facebook pictures, Twitter account, Instagram, Vine videos? How are you going to get over it? Really? Like you are sitting there picking the wound. Oh my God. Talking about. Help me get over it. Oh, help who me. Who is that chick? Help me get over it. She ain't cuter than me. When God heals you, don't pick the wound. You have to let it go. Yeah. Some relationships don't need to be redefined. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they have to be released. That's right. Okay? And don't romanticize the memory and forget the hangover. Mm. Tweet that. Let me say that one more time. Let me remember. Don't romanticize the memory and forget the hangover. Yeah. Don't be thinking about all the times you had butterflies in your stomach. Remember those times you was crying? Those times you say, God, I'll never do it again. I promise if you just spare me, I'll never do it again. Remember those times. There's a reason this chapter is closed. It's because mm. God is orchestrating your life for better. And remember, some endings are really beginnings. And mm. it may be hurtful. It may be heartbreaking right now. You may be going through. But understand that that relationship or situation was not conducive for your heart. I can remember when I was single and I was dating this guy and I broke it off. And it was I was crying. It was really painful. And I remember talking to the on the phone to my mom. I was just, I was just hurting. I was, you know, <laughs> Get off the phone. Praise the Lord for godly and wise parents because I remember her telling me, I don't know why you're crying. That wasn't what God had for you. Right. He had something greater. Right. Which is me. Six foot one of pure chocolate. Really? And I hope whoever she was talking about that you're watching this. Really? What? I wish you would stunt. And lastly, don't rebound. Oh. I hate rebound relationships because actually you're just using somebody. Very unhealthy. One of the most foolish things I ever heard people say is once they get out of a breakup, they start talking about, don't worry about me. I can find me somebody else. Mm -hmm. Why are you worried about finding somebody else? I mean, you just got out of an emotional roller coaster relationship and the first thing on your tongue is, I can find somebody else. And if you're a woman, you don't need to be trying to find nobody. You're supposed to be found. Damn. Don't get it twisted. And I also hear people say stuff like, Oh, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Oh, I'm going to find somebody else. Um, there's sharks in the sea, too. Mm. And those sharks, they can... Jaws. Yeah. Really? What? Really? You put Jaws, the Jaws theme? J the, jo the Jaws music. Like I was saying. There's plenty of fish in the sea, but there's also sharks in the sea. And those sharks can throw you right back off track and get you even more emotionally damaged than you were before. So be still so God can heal you. Don't move. Allow God to heal those hurts and heal those wounds. Remember, our past scars remind us of where we've been, not where we're going. So remember all those things. Be able to get over something that's over. Be able to be honest. Be able to admit if something hurts you. Be able to realize I don't need to be going back and reminiscing about old times. And remember, don't rebound. And also, allow God to heal you. Yeah. And the biggest point of all is to let it go. Let it go. Let it go.